Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and today we're gonna look at my new Skywalker lightsaber. We would be honored if you would join us. That's right, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> so uh, here's what happened. Disney, Disney stores, right, uh, sent out an email, what, a couple weeks ago, and they said, one day only, we're gonna take 30% off all of our lightsabers, like our, our good ones. <laughs> and I've had my eye on the Skywalker saber for a really long time because, I mean, come on. It, it's the lightsaber to have. It's the very first lightsaber we see ever in the Star Wars films. It was originally owned by Anakin, given to Luke, and then passed down to Rey. So come on, it's in, it's in all three of the trilogies. So if there was ever one lightsaber that was said to be the most iconic, it's gotta be this one. And came in a big long box. Let me just say uh, the shipping was very fast. I was surprised. It came um, within a week, within a week. So it was really, really super fast. Came in a big long cardboard box. And then uh, there's your sides. I gotta pull all the way back like this so that you can see it. This is a cardboard outer sleeve and it's wrapped around a box on the inside that is also a cardboard box. I think I at one time thought that the boxes these came in were plastic. Are they, have they never been plastic? Have these never been plastic boxes? So this is the inside sleeve. And of course it has to be this long because it comes with the blade. So that's another reason to get it. And I was very curious as to how these paired up against the Black Series, right? Because I've had the Black Series sabers. They're also metal, they're also well-made, they're also expensive. But uh, the Disney sabers have always kind of been the, the creme de la creme, right? And if you go down to Galaxy's Edge, of course they're in a glass case and you get to look at all of them and have a, a person come out and show them to you. And if you're lucky enough to get to the front of the line, right? There was a piece of instruction in here, but it really was just about taking the, the cap, protective cap out of the center of the saber. And then this has kind of like a magnetic lid and you have the foam on top. Then there's a, I'm disappearing here. There's a stand here, the hilt, and then more of the acrylic stand here, a belt clip, which I was surprised. And then underneath all of this is the blade. So I'm gonna have to lay this out on a bed because that's the only way I can hold my camera and then show you the inside here. So that's the stand, right? That's the lightsaber stand. And there's the hilt. And surprisingly, the hilt came with batteries and it was ready to go. Like I didn't have to do a thing. It just took it out of the box and it immediately started making noise. So there's the upper part of the stand and I haven't figured out how to put the stand together yet. And here is the belt clip right there. So that's pretty cool. And you do not have a Luke Skywalker costume. I do not think I could pull off Mark Hamill. <laughs> Trying to do this with one hand gracefully, but your belt clip would obviously go attached to that there at the bottom. And if I lift this whole piece out, then the blade is under there and of course it's going to be the skywalker blue of course right after i say that i don't know how to put the stand together i pulled it out and figured it out so it was pretty easy like where's this the base and the little triangle piece clipped in here and then those two arms just one went on the left and one went on the right and so uh i don't know that i'm going to display my saber like this i might just leave it in the box because i feel it's more safe there but that's what the display stand looks like was there anything I was disappointed in? Yes, uh, this came covered in stickers. Why? Why would you pay this much money for a replica prop and then they put stickers on it? There was a sticker along the edge here that said batteries go in this end. There was a sticker on this that said on off. <laughs> there was a sticker that was wrapped around the hilt that said, uh, you know, only use these kind of batteries and they did not come off easy. I had to like, scrape it with my fingernail. Please uh, do not use any sort of abrasive uh, decal removers like Goo Gone or whatnot. Don't use any of those 
because the switch here is not metal. The switch is plastic and it's painted. So if you use any kind of Goo Gone uh, adhesive remover on the switch, you'll peel the, plastic, you'll peel the paint off. Now the rest of it's metal, yes, so you'll be fine there, but I would hate for you to get something too close to the switch. And one of the things I super duper love about not only these, the Galaxy's Edge Blades, but uh, the uh, Black Series as well, it's just so easy to get going, right? I mean, I'm literally just gonna drop this inside until it finds its nest. You can hear it click, and then I give it a little twist like that, and I know it's in. So at this point, I can just click it on. It doesn't really, I should turn off the light, right? I should turn off the light? All right, so this is with the light off, but you can get, get an idea, right? And of course it has all the motion sounds and it lights up. So that is pretty cool. It's hard to show on camera how uh, awesome this looks, but it's so crazy, right? It's so crazy to think that when I was a kid, I saw this in a movie and just the idea of it was otherworldly, science fiction. And now I'm holding the, the, a prop that looks exactly like it and makes the sound and lights up. I mean, look at that. It retracts, makes the retracting sound, extends. That is just, that's, that's insane. So yes, I realize I am late to the game, right? Late to the game because I'm 55 years old <laughs> and I just got uh, my first lightsaber from the original trilogy, right? Because I, I had the Kylo Ren saber, of course, because, but that was for a costume and it was more for the costume and less for collecting. But now, you know, I have the, I have the saber of my childhood. That is so, so crazy, but... Uh, Glad to have it. And I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to be like all the other people that, you know, have nine, ten sabers in their house. I think, I think this is, this is the only one I need. So <laughs> what do you think? Do you guys have uh, the Skywalker blade or tell me down below which uh, sabers you've had. Uh, if you've waited in that 30 minute line at Disney World to get a, to get a glimpse of, of the new sabers, or if you ran out you know, and you get, you get the ones from the video games and you got the Yasuka ones. I don't know. Tell me, tell me your lightsaber story down below and uh, may the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.